Hey folks, welcome to the Maverick Gunworks channel. Right now I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Glock uh, G44, the 22 long rifle that is a almost identical dimension wise to the to the popular uh, 19 model, which is a 9mm, we all know that. But uh, I've heard of and have seen, apparently there's some folks that have complaints about the gun jamming, and I want to tell you what I found. I've decided to keep this version uh, for the for the shop. I use it now for my concealed carry classes, and I, I rent it out to folks uh, when we're doing the uh, beginner courses. We've had a lot of luck with it, and so far we've got I don't know 300, 400 rounds through it. It's not been a problem. But what I did find out in my uh, testing with it myself, it likes the ammo that's 1,250 feet per second or more. If you use 1,000 feet per second ammo, it's probably not going to work right. I think that's where the problem's coming in for a lot of folks. What happens is with low power ammo, the gun does not come back fast enough or far enough, actually far enough for what it amounts to, to pull the shell all the way out of the uh, tube, all the way out of the, the barrel, and ends up falling short and getting stuck in the chamber when, or st stuck in the slide. When the, uh, when the slide comes back, it don't go back far enough to kick the old shell out and to catch the new one. There you get a jam. So uh, I, I found that out with some cheaper, low-powered ammo. Another thing about 22s, I want to show you this right quick too. I don't know if I've covered this before in other videos, but uh, there are a lot of a lot of handguns, especially with 22 or rimfire stuff, are sensitive to ammo. Uh, you got to pay attention to the bullet itself, where it's crimped onto the brass case, because a lot of your cheap ammo, if you grab the casing, you grab the tip of the bullet, you wiggle it or try to spin it, and if it turns and it wiggles a little bit, it's probably not gonna work in your semi, no matter which kind of gun it is. Simply because when the gun is feeding the cartridge from the magazine, it's coming up at an angle. When the tip of the bullet touches the bottom of your feed ramp and tries to go into the chamber, that if that bullet uh, bends or wiggles too much, when it feeds into the chamber, it's gonna get stuck. So then you gotta jam. If you get a good quality product um, and that, that has a good solid crimp on it, you won't find a problem like that typically. And then uh, with this ammo, I think these are 1,250 feet per second. And I also have some, these might even be, excuse me, these might even be um, 1,450. But now I've used some Federal Lightning ammo. I've used Remington Golden Bullet, to call it. They're like 1,250 feet per second. And I also have some uh, Winchester that uh, is 1,440, I believe it is, feet per second. They work real well in this gun. Have not had a bit of trouble with it at all. So anyway, um, that being said, hopefully that clears up maybe some of the some of the uh, issues that maybe somebody's having with the firearm like this. Um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, and it's a may jam now because I tell you, we since I've used this gun, I have not cleaned it at all. All right, so it's got, like I said, 300 rounds or so I think in it, and we've not cleaned it yet. And basically what I'm gonna do is run it until it, until it starts giving a problem with the, uh, with the higher velocity ammo. So we'll see exactly what happens when we do that, but I expect to get uh, a lot more rounds out of it. And keep in mind that the 22 rimfire stuff is dirty. That's all there is to it. It's just a dirty, dirty product no matter what you do. Um, you can spend a little more money and get a better quality uh, ammo that has a cleaner burning powder in it. And there are products like that out there if you can find them these days. Um, so that may be something to consider. Uh, I don't know, I've had a lot of folks, but even with a with a um, a target pistol, uh, a lot of guys use the Ruger um, Mark IV now, the, the older Mark III's for competitions, and those guns particularly like the higher velocity ammo. Um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, semis, even the uh, the Smith and Wesson SW22, great pistol. But if you don't have a really good ammo in it, it's probably going to cause you a problem too. But anyway, I'm going to put my ear protection on here and let's uh, run this through its paces a little bit more and see what we get out of it. Alrighty, here we go. We are loaded now. There you go. I think that was, I believe, I believe I had a full 10 round magazine right there. 
and it ran perfectly fine. And it's been doing that not just for me, but for, for beginning students. I've had this gun using for beginners, and uh, they seem to like it real well. Anyway, there's my two cents about it. Hopefully, that will help you if you've got a gun like this and you have any issues with, with it feeding or, or jamming for you. Try some better quality, uh, higher velocity ammo, and it'll probably take care of the problem. All right, thanks for watching us.